the relationship between blacks and law enforcement is deeply troubled. It, to call it contentious is an understatement. call it yeah to call it contentious is an understatement there is a significant body of evidence that highlights the disparities in how black people are treated by police compared to the white counterparts um, according to a 2019 study published by the proceeding of National Academy of Science black men are three and a half times more likely to be killed by a police than a white man. I said that already. That underscores and highlights the risk of black folks, what we face when we interact with these fucking thug ass demons. Stay away from them. Back to the stop and frisk data from New York. Black people in 2019, before they got rid of stop and frisk, were 50... 59%, 60% of the people stopped were blacks. 30%. That's 90% of people. 30% were not Latino. 60% were black. 90% of the people stopped were people of color. There's like 8 million people in New York and 90% and most of them are predominantly white. But 90% of the people stopped and frisked and harassed were people of color. Even though the, 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 the group total between blacks and, 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 and Latinos, we make up less, less than 25% of the city. And the people that were stopped, over 58% of those were innocent and didn't have anything and it just proved that this was just discriminatory in nature. Racial profiling in the United States is just as Amer is just as American as apple pie. Racial profiling in the United States is just as an American as white boys being mass shooters at schools. Um, research from. God damn it! From um, um, from Stanford, um, from their Open Pro Policing Project, they analyzed over one million, one hundred million traffic stops across the United States, and they found that black drivers were shock, 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 more likely to be stopped, searched, and killed than their white drivers, despite despite black folk being less likely to be found with anything that is illegal. We are less likely to have any illegal substance on us, but we're stopped the majority of the times. We're searched, harassed, and murdered the majority of the time, even though we're less likely to be in possession of anything illegal than their white boys. The white boys are, they, they moving, yeah, yeah. This, this study illustrates the stark reality that black people, that the police, are overly aggressive with black people. They want to exterminate us. I don't know how to keep, I don't know how which way to keep saying that. We don't really pose a threat to them, but they treat us like we're like we're at war with them. It's a one-sided war. I don't know if I should go through more of these cases. You know, it's just not fear-based, like I said, why I'm saying this. It's fueled by the num the numerous of hope high profile cases in the data where it shows police they 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 thrive on harming and killing black people. I'm just, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the details of each of these cases, but I'm just gonna re remind people. Eric Gardner choked out over some cigarettes. Plano Castile shot because he said I got a concealed carry permit. Breonna Taylor in 2020, the police officers 
did a no knock warrant, which is illegal in her home. And she was killed in the middle of the night <laughs> because they just decided to kick her fucking door in. George Floyd. I'll be damned. I don't know. For many blacks, the sight of a police officer or the sound of their siren can trigger a fight or flight response. Most people don't know if we should fight or... I mean, there's an argument to, that you can make the argument that if you get a police officer gets behind you, I can make the argument that you should run. You stand a better chance of surviving that interaction by running. I can make that argument. I don't suggest you do that, but I can make the argument. And some people think that that response is irrational. That's because they're white people. They, they, they think that's irrational. You have a right to protect your life, even, even against murderous thugs, institutions like policing. You know, the fear of the police and what they do is passed down through black folks through generations. I don't know one person who has not had the um, the talk, who's have had who had it, and now who had to give it to try to figure out some type of way for their for people to to survive. And believe it or not, when you're having a police interactions, your job is to survive because they want to kill you. You can see it in their eyes, their body language, their demeanor. They want to kill you. These people come to you they have no conscience because they they see you as no different than a damn deer it's open season for them they just need any reason you can raise your voice and they'll, they'll blow you the fuck away they'll t they'll blow you away just by telling them no let me explain why avoiding and engaging with um law enforcement is is rational one, given the historical and contemporary realities that I've outlined so far, it's not surprising that some black people, we choose to avoid engaging with law enforcement. The decision is not born out of some desire to break the law or evade justice or anything like that. Whether it's a, it's a rational response to a system that has consistently demonstrated that it wants to exterminate you. It does not value your life or anything connected to your life. It does not be, it does not see you as an American. You are a, are an intruder. Avoiding contact with law enforcement um, can be seen as an act 